How are you doing today guys? Welcome back to another quick video. I'm over here in the garage and as you can see behind me, I got something that I think is pretty cool. Before we talk about it, please subscribe, turn the notification bell on and other than that, let's get right into this. So, as you guys know, I've been rebuilding my garage little by little. I got my bikes, I got a video about that, make sure you check it out. And then I got my shelves, I got everything a little more organized. And I wanted to show you this. I went ahead and got that TV right there. Before this TV, I actually had this TV. This is a thing, it's that 21, 23 inch, inch TV, something like that, that I bought off of, of the shelf from Walmart because it was a return item. It was an open item, so they had it like on the shelf. I asked, they sold it to me for like 20 something dollars. So something I couldn't pass, I was using it as a monitor, but now that I had this garage, I just put it over here just in case I needed it. But when I started rebuilding this garage and painting it and all that, kind of setting up uh, with insulation and everything, I knew that I wanted to build something like this. So as you can see, I have my workbench over here and I made this area right here open so that I can fit a TV. So doing research on what I wanted to get, I wanted to get something around 50, 55 inches, maybe 65 at the most, as long as it will fit over here. So this, I was searching on Best Buy and different places, Walmart and Amazon. So my criteria was I wanted something that was smart. I wanted a 4K but I also wanted a Fire TV, okay? Ideally, I would have bought a Samsung, but that was out of the price range for what I needed it. So, the, the, what I needed for my setup right now was a Fire TV. I wanted it to be smart, and I wanted it to be Fire. I did not want a Roku. I use Fire for everything. This one has a Fire Stick. I have another TV that, I have a few other TVs that have Fire Sticks, and I love those things. Now, some of the new Fire Sticks come a controller like this that you can actually control your TV and you can use this TV. Like if you don't have a smart TV, you can put in a Fire Stick in the back and you can get a control like this that will actually control your TV and the Fire Stick. And from a non-smart TV, you get a smart TV. I like that idea. That's kind of like the setup that I have on this TV and on, my daughter, on one of my daughter's TV. Talking about that, let's go ahead and talk about this TV. This is a 4K TV, 55 inch. It normally is an Amazon Fire TV. Amazon Fire TV. My other option was an Insignia TV from Best Buy with the Fire TV operating system. But that ran for something very similar to this, almost $400. So that, that was kind of pricey. Now this one, brand new, cost $299.99 plus taxes on Amazon. Great deal. However, if you guys are not familiar with Amazon, or you are, but you don't know about Amazon Warehouse, where you get a lot of good deals, anytime that I wanna buy something a little more expensive, I go to the Amazon Warehouse to see if the same item is available. Those are kind of like the return items. This one said, um, good condition. However, it came on a brand new box, brand new packaging. It's like somebody just returned it. So that's. So far, I have had luck buying from Amazon Warehouse and the price that I pay for this one, again, this sells for $299.99 and I'll leave affiliate for, the description below, for this in the description below. I found it for $208, $208 plus taxes, which is, I think, an excellent deal. And I guess, like I said, you have all the apps that you can download and I love this thing. So this is why I wanted a Fire TV. Now, while I was there, and like I just told you, my daughter has a non-smart TV with a fire stick in the back with a controller like this that controls the TV and the fire stick. I found a 50-inch TV that normally sells for $269.99. Again, also 4K, both of them, this and the other one, Ultra HD, LED. And I found that one for $169.99. So I couldn't pass that deal and I went ahead and ordered it. What will I do with the other TV that she has? Because I think she has an older my first flat TV that I bought many years ago, um, I think it's a 47 inch TV. It's not smart, but it has the fire stick on the back. So it is now smart and I'll probably use that for something else. But again, this is not top of the line, but again, it's still a really good product. 
Ultra HD 4K can beat that. Again, yes, a Samsung, something similar to this is gonna be almost $900, maybe $1,000. But for the application that I needed it, this works perfect. So I just wanted to let you know, guys, what was going on, why I got this TV. And again, this is for the garage. I'm kind of set, trying to set this up kind of like my mini shop over here. And talking about that, let me show you something else that I got for this garage. So as you guys know, I already paint, we already painted. Uh, I got my toolbox over here. I got my flag over there. And as you can see over here in the bottom, I got my black Texas flag. I got my bikes. I got my fridge. It's been there, but let me show you something I got over here. Those two big boxes over there. That's a mini split setup. That's a one and a half ton or 18,000 BTU, which is gonna be more than enough for this garage. Remember this garage is already insulated and everything. And I went ahead and got this uh, from Home Depot, but from Home Depot, Mexico. My parents were over there, so they brought it over. I did have to pay custom taxes. It ended up being almost half of what I would have paid for something similar to this over here. This is inverter, which is efficient, and it's also hot and cold. So it's gonna be perfect for this Texas weather over here. Where I'm gonna put it, I don't know. This is the back wall. That's where the dogs are behind it. And that is kind of like the side patio and the other AC unit for the upstairs apartment is down there. That's just a regular uh, central AC system. So I'm thinking maybe putting it up, up against that wall, but if not, I can just put it right there, like in the middle of the garage and then just run the uh, hoses and the wire that way and hang it up on the wall on the other side because there should be long enough. But other than that, I think this is pretty cool. So now I can watch TV, I can watch my videos, I can watch some more videos over here on YouTube. And of course I have uh, all the services providers that you can have, Netflix, uh, Hulu, whatever you stream, Apple TV, whatever it is. But uh, yeah, this is gonna be pretty cool right here. And also I have Pandora, Spotify, whatever I can use, have some background music, even though I just got also from the Amazon warehouse, that Echo Dot for $15. That sells for like $70 and I got it for $15 from the warehouse. So again, really great deals that you can find on Amazon. And like I said, I will leave affiliate links for all these products in the description below. Check them out. The holiday season is coming. Save some money if you can. Check the where. This is how it works. You go search for your TV. Now, if you're on your phone, you can scroll down and you might see something that says buy use from this amount. So you click in there and you have options. Not everything has options. Not everything has use options. But if it does, it'll be on the bottom, like scroll down on your phone. If you're in the computer, you'll find this on the right side of the computer. You say buy use from this amount and you have different options like from use, good, very good and like new. And like I said, this deal was uh, advertised as use good but like I said, it came on a perfectly brand new box with all the packaging, everything in there. Wasn't missing anything at all. So I think it was a great deal. Saved, what, almost $100 on this thing. And this is gonna fit perfectly fine right here. Also have a RGB LED strips that I might paste around the back, make it pop a little bit. That's just gonna wrap it up for today, guys. I hope that you get some ideas from this. If not, I want, hope that you learned something today. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Let's ride. Goodbye. Oh yeah, and in case you were wondering, yes, I did hang this thing myself. Pretty easy. If you want me to do a DIY video on this, uh, let me know. And uh, once I have to hang an RTV, probably record it and, and let me know soon because I might have to do that next week with my in my dad's house. So yes, pretty easy though. Other than that, <laughs> yeah, again, let's ride. Goodbye.